mind your talk and go down a bit? Yeah. Can I? Can I, I can, have a little bit more of a I can also have a bit more of Simon in mind. That's good. That's good. Tell me what's happening with the new recording. When is it um, happening and who is it with? Uh, we're recording it with a guy called Flood. Um, and uh, yeah, it, we we we, did, we were gonna do it live at first, like because obviously I went down and played for him, and he was like, oh, I, I I want it to just be you performing and like you do live, and yeah. well, you know we'll we'll put everything else around that. Yeah. So he wanted to capture what I do live, so <clears throat> we set up like a live gig, mm -hmm. which was open to the public. So we did that and we laid it up, but. It, it all of a sudden started sounding a bit bigger than what we went in to do. So yeah. I wrote more songs and just went, I'd, I'd just been going in and just been putting new ones down every time we go in. So we're kind of like, we're, we've just had a meeting a couple of weeks ago where we decided that we're just going to go and do the whole record. Okay, let's try. some other fields from this record. It, yes, I mean, it's not as if it really went throughout the world or anything, but I did get really nice responses just from random people. And over a lot of years, mm -hmm. you know, people seem to keep discovering it, and that's really, that's nice when it, it's nice when people relate to your music. Because you know, I try to find something that really just rings emotionally true to me. But then in terms of like, recording and production and whatever, because I record at home, and because I'm doing it totally by myself, I don't really have any feedback about that, and I've kind of learned how to do recording by myself, so I feel like my technique is really rudimentary, and you know, and then, you know, when you play cello, you're always very self-critical, so. Well, I made another record, mm -hmm. which I actually just got, which is exciting, but it, again, it took years, so I'm like, you know, I can't even listen to it anymore. But um, that also was an interesting process, because I started working a little bit with electronics, and I used, I mean, I used field recordings in delay, but I used, a lot more and different field recordings in this one. Mm -hmm. Grounds Writers Bench Collaboration gig yeah. with Julia Kent and now you've decided to do something together tonight. How did that happen and how does it feel? And I don't normally check out the bands and I'm going to play at a venue like um, it's 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 only off, not often that I do that and then when I checked out Julia I was really blown away and I really enjoyed what I heard and I knew that Simon would like it too so I knew it was gonna be a good night. But then when I watched you <clears throat> when I watched Julia, um, I sat I sat all the way through it, and that 
like I find it really hard to sit and concentrate and yeah. especially when I'm watching new music as well it's not every day that I see something that makes me stay and stay stays the word of the day isn't it <laughs> um but yeah and it was fun afterwards as well because as jet lagged as she was she stayed out and drank so um that's really hardcore <coughs> happy to jump in when the collaboration was suggested. I'm totally thrilled. I mean, it's not really a collaboration. Well, I'm, just just a, to, like, yeah. I'm just trying to delicately incorporate myself into her beautiful songs. Yeah. But no, I'm completely thrilled. Are you going to play some of the new songs tonight? Not, yeah, I am, yeah. How long have you... Is this a, a That's a new song then. This Stay. one? Yeah, because... Yeah. And I heard... I think I heard you play in Rotterdam. The last time, yeah, yeah, and you well, explained the story it, behind yeah. it. That was the first time you played it. Like, yeah. what's the story behind it? It's kind of personal, I imagine. Oh, it's about me being an asshole. But I'm really, I'm really nasty to uh, my partner, and basically, um, it's having a bad time, and it's just about me saying. It's one of those songs. It's like, oh. Um, I'm really sorry. I wrote you a song. Please forgive me. Did so, it work out? Mm, yeah. They stayed. They stayed. It was worth a song, wasn't it? I think. Yeah, but um, I don't know if it's a good thing. I just brought some more to the case and the little eye.
sleep on my chest you lay I wouldn't have it any other Thank you.